So this is the screen that comes up after you've already created a website and you log back in to edit it. And you'll just go to edit website and it should take you to the editing area. Once you're in the editing platform on Weebly, um, you can go in and make a lot of changes. Ultimately, we would like you to remove any photographs that aren't your own, um, but this is going to be a work in progress throughout the term. So you might not want to go in and delete everything at, up front because the, this um, template that you've chosen has a really cool layout. So if you go and delete everything, the layout will be gone. So eventually what I suggest is placing your photos in the place of um, the ones that are here. So whether you have photos of drawings or um, you know actual photographs, you could replace the ones that are here and keep the same layouts. So I'm going to have to change the headings at the top, but each page already has a template that you may want to follow. If you don't want to follow it, we can completely get rid of whatever's on the page. Like this page doesn't have a whole lot on it anyway, so um, I don't have to delete a whole lot. Um, so what you do is you can click through the pages. On the build tab, that's where you're going to just add things onto the page. To start, I'm going to go to the top and go to pages. This is where you can rename pages, go to different pages. Um, so I went to weddings. It takes you to the wedding page. There's not much on this page. Instead of weddings, I'm going to name this about. So I can just delete that. Type about. Um, it gives you an option to hide, na hide navigation. I don't want to do that. Um, header type. This means, do you want this little decorative photo there? And this is just a photo, this Mandy Miller photography. It's not something that you can use. It's just a photo here. So they created this in Photoshop or something. So um, you're going to have to put your own picture there. So I, I like the header. That just means there'll be a decorative picture at the top of each. Um, depending on the template you chose, it may have the option for the header. Look at if I click no header, it just gets rid of that. So I like to keep the header on there. And then these other things, like you can temporarily hide pages and things like that. But I'm good here. So if I like the way that it looks, I can go back and then I can rename some of these other ones. So these all look the same. I'm going to delete this page. I don't need it. And I am going to make on this journal page, let's see, see this journal page. It's kind of in a blog style where there's weird columns. Um, so I don't want to blog on here. It, it's really hard to add your artwork to a blog page without it being um, in weird columns. So I'm going to delete this page. That's why I told you not to choose a blog um, template. This one just has a blog template page. Um, contact. Now, if you want to have a contact page, it's, it's only optional. You don't have to do it. But um, you could keep a contact page if you want. I'm going to keep it so I can show you. So I have a home and an about. So we ask that you have a home page just for decoration. Some people put their about section on their home page. That's fine too. Um, I'm going to add a page for artwork. So just a standard page, not a blog page. Um, and I'm going to call this artwork. And it's going to have a header. Look at it's empty now, but I'll add something there later. Okay. So now if you look the tabs at the top say home about contact artwork. You can drag these around if you want them in a different order. And then I'm going to add another standard page that says photography one or ceramics one or whatever class you're in. Add a page. I like the header there. Um, if you want your photography one to be underneath artwork. So if you have multiple classes that you want to compile under one um, little area, watch this. I can drag the photography one. It's indented under artwork and so that allows me to scroll over and then go to my photography one page. Now there's still an artwork page there that may have nothing on it. So you still would want to put some some like picture or something to decorate the page there.